Uh, this is Jared again with Sage Aqu Aquaponics. Sorry about that. Um, so I was going to show you what it looked like after I was completely done. So in this bed here we have some different types of lettuce. We have our little tomato plants. And some more lettuce. Here we have some uh, peppers. Some lettuce. Some more peppers, some tomato plants, and some more peppers. And here we have tomatoes and lettuce. Now these darker areas are actually not dark. I'm not sure why it's showing up like this on the camera, but uh, they're actually everything in here is really well lit. I think they, the camera's adjusting, compensating rather um, for the light source. But everything in here is quite light um, due to the LED lights that we have going here. And they are blue and red. Hopefully that will provide the color spectrum necessary for growth. So one thing I'm, I'm going to do since we're uh, just starting to cycle the system is for roughly two weeks, maybe more, I am going to be adding this. It's um, bioweed. What it is, is, is it's just um, seaweed. It's a seaweed extract and um, it's all, all natural, it's organic and everything. And I'll be adding a few capfuls of these um, to the system to help promote growth. And then we will throw the fish in there and start um, the nitrification process. I think for this system we're going to start out with some goldfish. Um, generally when you first cycle a system with fish, you're going to expect some loss, um, some fish death due to the swings of nitrate, nitrite, and pH and ammonia. And the ammonia is actually really what um, makes the plants grow. It, it really... Uh, is a, the main, it's the base of the nitrification process because the ammonia is, is turned into nitrites by the bacteria within the grow beds. And then the nitrites, which are uh, very harmful to fish, they're just as harmful as the ammonia, are turned to nitrates. And the plants consume the nitrates. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will be sharing more videos with you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.